So I was listening to the radio the other day while I was driving and I was struck in the gut by what complete bullshit goes on on the radio. I I was thinking to myself, I would go mad if I had to listen to that mindless, sensationalist shit every single day while I was working or driving or whatever. But then also what came to mind was, obviously, the, the stuff that's spoken about is spoken about because it's what's popular and young kids want to hear about what these celebrities are doing and, you know, they want to talk about parties and clothes and fashion and relations, like, not, not real relationship advice, it's like, bullshit relationship advice, it's relationship advice, I'm talking about really, really silly, frivolous crap. And, um, okay, so that's what they talk about because that's what people apparently want to hear and it's, you know, how the radio station could probably make money or I don't know, for for some fucking reason, I don't know. But, I mean, if, if I were to have to listen to the radio, you know what I would want to listen to? I would want to listen to real talk about real issues. I would want to be talking about, hey, what are potential solutions for the issues we're facing in, uh, in our country? Uh, what? Hey, you know, ESCOM is, is not producing enough power. Uh, what do I think or what do the listeners uh, all over the country think might be ways that we could fix that. Not name-calling or uh, blame-shaming or, or anything like that. Just practical discussions in terms of, hey, what, what, what could actually fix this situation that we are all in together? And um, let's talk about real relationship advice. When uh, your partner does something to, that, that you get really angry about, how do you work through that? Or when... Um, when maybe not a lot of people would want to talk about this on air, but when you're having a difficulty um, being vulnerable and intimate with someone, and even though you've been together for a long time, when you're struggling to really share about yourself, how, how, how do you get through that kind of stuff? Or uh, work advice, your boss is being an asshole to you and you're really struggling you, you hate going to work, how do you deal with that? Not just superficial banter about it. I'm talking about real discussions about real problems that we have in life. Um, your kids being bullied at school. What? How do you help your kids through that? That's what I would want to listen to. The, I, and I, You know what? I don't want to listen to songs about sex and love and and milkshakes and (laughs) shaking booty. (laughs) It's not what I'm interested in. And, you know, there was a brief time in my life where I was interested in that stuff, but I very quickly outgrew it, especially as I educated myself more about the current state of the world, the current state of humanity, the issues that we're all facing together. Uh, that, that's, That's what matters to me. That's what really matters to all of us because that's the that's the real that's real life you know that's sorry i'm just trying to stop this cat from wiping his face on the on the thing that the phone's on um so right that's what i would want to listen to i don't know about everyone else i mean I know there's a lot of podcasts and things, but I, like here in, in the area where I live, you don't really have very many options in terms of the radio. You have pretty much the same levels of discussion happening on, on all the stations. And one of the biggest question marks that I had while I was listening to this stupid crap spewing out of my speakers 
was how much of a like a real impact changing the discussions that we have with each other and the discussions that we value like on the radio how much of an impact would that have on real life in terms of how we actually live in terms of how we interact with each other and how we solve problems that we're facing i think that it has the potential to really impact on our lives in a very tangible way maybe even so far as to say that it would have an impact on our government on corporations on on the big decisions that are made that affect hundreds or thousands or hundreds of thousands of living beings every day so what are your thoughts would you want to listen to a radio like that would you want to watch tv shows about that would you want to listen to music about real issues rather than sex and booties and love yeah. what matters to you and would you be willing to change how you define entertainment in order to uh, actually support things that matter rather than things that entertain you briefly for a moment and sometimes make you feel nice so yeah why don't we have a meaningful discussion and uh yeah thanks for watching and you're going to see me next time <laughs>